Let's write the balanced net ionic equation for lithium phosphate plus strontium hydroxide. The first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This right here is the molecular equation. I started first balancing the lithiums, but that was more work. Kind of easier if we start with the strontiums. So I have one strontium here and three here. I'm going to put a three in front of the strontium hydroxide. That balances the strontium, but now I have three times two. So I have six hydroxides. So I put a six here, six hydroxides, six lithiums. Put a two here, two times three. That's the six lithiums. They're balanced. Two phosphates here and two phosphates here. That's the balanced molecular equation. A little bit of work for this one. Now we can write the state for each substance. It looks like this. So compounds with lithium, in general, they're very soluble, even though phosphates are not soluble. Strontium hydroxide is considered a strong base, so it's soluble. Lithium hydroxide, another strong base. But the strontium phosphate, phosphates in general, aren't soluble. So we have our strontium phosphate here as a solid. That falls to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. So these are the states. Once we have the states, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. And we don't split solids apart when we do the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So in the reactants, I see six lithium ions. And in the products here, these are spectator ions. They have not changed. We cross them out. Then six hydroxide ions here in the reactants. And in the products, six hydroxide ions, spectator ions. We cross them out. What's left, that's the net ionic equation for Li3PO4 plus SrOH2. I'll clean it up, write the states. We'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation. You'll note charge is conserved. We have 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. 2 times 3 minus, that's 6 minus. So that all adds up to 0, net charge of 0 here in the reactants. Products, this is a neutral compound, net charge of 0. So charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Li3PO4 plus SrOH2. Thanks for watching.